Are you confused about how to take part in the upcoming events? Want to get your hands on these four beautiful skins just at a mere price of 399 diamonds? Then this video is especially for you. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will take a look at how to take part in the upcoming events in the best way possible. As the M5 event is live, you will need diamonds to buy the M5 pass. Why not use kazukiofficialstore.com to fulfill your diamond needs? To reach us, simply go to our website and click on the mobile agents, enter your ID and server here, then choose from a variety of packs according to your need. Choose your payment method. I suggest using K0 coins for an extra 2 to 10% discount. Now add the screenshot of your payment here. Click on complete order and you are done. Let's first start with the best way to get Roger Prime skin or Roger N3 skin. As we know, they will be available to exchange in the M5 event shop. But we won't be able to claim it just through M5 coins. So I will suggest getting them with diamonds if you want to. <coughs> By recharging today or up to the 22nd of November to claim the additional M5 pass experience from the recharge tasks which are like this. This can give you a head start of 13 levels in the M5 pass 2. This will also give 15 battle suit fragments from the Aspirants Unite special bonus task. Which you can use to exchange the Aspirants exclusive resources like Fortification, Elimination Effect and Fortification Arrival Effect available at 8 battle suit fragments each or the Light of the Aspirants Border four battle suit fragments and also the let's go tetra emote for only two battle suit fragments and if you like most of the guys can't even think about it i got you covered do not get your m5 pass today itself instead wait for the 25th of november why because of the aspirants event premium supply task on the 25th of november that is saturday the phase one of free tokens in the aspirants event will be available by recharging on that day and completing all the tasks, we are expected to get a total of 16 tokens to draw in the event. And yes, an epic skin or better is guaranteed on the first 10th draw. So by buying M5 pass, by recharging on the 25th, we will get access to M5 Yuzong and get an epic or better skin too. This will be a great deal, isn't it? We will make a separate video on the day of the phase 1 task are live, suggesting how to claim the maximum benefits. So make sure to turn on your notification to not miss any update. Now let's move on to the million dollar question. Can we get views on time from normal pass? Let's break it down together. Let's calculate how much experience we can get in total from the old task and other ways. When we buy the M5 normal pass, it gives us 300 pass experience straight away and 399 M coins. First for those who had pre-registered, will be able to claim an additional 1000 M5 pass experience. If we look at the daily task, it shows us that we can claim a total of 970 pass experience daily by doing tasks like completing the task such as daily login task and share task. Other tasks like participating in the guest contest will also give additional pass experience. The challenge task will consist of total of 27,200 pass experience. If we combine them, we get 59,390 pass experience from the task. But don't be disheartened now, as if we look at the event rules section, it stated that we can get 68,460 pass experience from the daily task, if we complete each and every one of them. 
And when we combine other guaranteed rewards like M5 login rewards for special login days, we get a total of 71,960 pass experience, making us reach level 71. Assuming you get at least half of the guess correct, you can get 5,015 pass experience just from that, making us reach level 76. Add another 1,560 pass experience from M5 team support and you reach level 78. And also rank boost will also grant 800 pass experience if you win them all, which I know you won't, so add a 500 pass experience more. So for a hard grinder, this will be the highest you can reach after only purchasing the M5 pass. And other ways to level up your pass experience will through M5 support chest. It will be available to open from the 24th of November. As I predicted earlier in this video, the task now that they are out confirm that we can get Prime skin just by buying the M5 pass. Now for the event shop. Sadly, you won't have enough M5 coins to buy M3 Roger or his Prime skin. You will need to throw in additional diamonds to get hands on it. And I already told you the best way to get those skins earlier. Minotaur Dreadnought Summon is also live from today and you can participate in the event to get the skin for a discounted price. The drop rates for the summons are like this. For those who wondering about the M5 Premium Pass, let's buy this in this account. Looking at the future champion. I can see this use on skins intro 100 more times. I recommend buying the premium pass only if you want this exclusive trial effect. Let me see what I get from the pass. Not much. To be honest. Nothing I wanna buy at the store right now. I will wait and get more coins to buy Roger's skin. Let me claim all the past experience. After that much experience, let's see what I get. Maybe I will check what I got in the pass first. Looks like an emote and a spawn effect. Cool, cool. Let's draw again and test our luck. I guess my luck is just bad, so let's move on. And get my hands on skin, I was waiting for a very very long time. Let's start drawing. I get nothing there. Next draw, what will we get? Nothing again. Let me just speed this up and get the skin already. This is the skin I have been waiting for a long time for Sicilian Crimson Wings. Isn't this skin beautiful? So did you buy the M5 pass already? 
or are you that chid waiting for our video to know how to spin in the event in the best way possible? Share your opinion down below in the comment section. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.